It took a great deal of time to make the camera that we use today. Cameras have moved from bulky boxes to portable ones, and the lengthy process of developing a photo has been zipped down to a few minutes. Well, the evolution of cameras began in the year 1500, when Mozi, a Chinese philosopher, observed rays of light falling on the walls of a darkened room through a pinhole made on the opposite side. He saw the world outside as upside down. Mozi was fascinated by this fact, and upon proper research, he reached the conclusion that since light travels in a straight line, thus such a phenomenon take place in nature. Eureka! That was the building block for modern cameras and photography. He then developed the pinhole camera that will project an inverted picture through a pinhole. But sadly, there was no means to store the end result. In the year 1839, Louis Daguerre, a French artist, developed a process to actually store the projected image forever on a shiny mirror finished copper plate treated with chemicals and made the process public in return for a lifetime pension paving the way for the film cameras that we have used in the past. Now, the main hindrances to having a camera was that cameras were bulky, heavy and had unattractive boxes. In the year 1900, the race camera became the world's first truly portable camera with its ability to be folded into a compact shape and being extremely lightweight as compared to other models available in the market. And towards 1925, a new camera invention, the Leica One, was the first compact camera that packed a superb 3.5 lens and was able to shoot photos on a 35mm film. The modern cameras that we use today started to come into existence at this stage. Now with the problem of being a tedious and time-consuming job developing the final photograph from the negatives, a company named Polaroid developed the Polaroid Model 95 camera in 1947, which photographers could just take a shot and get the photo printed on a special paper supplied by Polaroid itself in minutes. This gave a new turn to the evolution of cameras. In the year 1975, Steven Sasok of Kodak developed the world's first digital camera. It was a modified version of a Nikon SLR coupled with a digital CCD sensor used to capture light information and a tape recorder meant for storing the processed photograph. However, it was in 1991 when the first digital camera was made available in the market at a hefty price tag of 13,000 US dollars. With the price tag of the previous invention being hefty, Fujifilm, a film and camera making company, completely shattered that barrier by inventing the world's first single use disposable camera, the Fuji Quick Snap. Each of these cameras were worth only $4 and could capture 27 shots and once the film was taken out and the photos developed, the cameras were nothing but a good toy. Considering its performance and the number of shots it could take at that price point, it was really very economical. Well, in the year 2000, Sharp introduced a cell phone which had a tiny camera installed on the back panel and which could shoot, process and display photos on the cell phone display instantly. This was the world's first cell phone with an inbuilt digital camera. But in 2007, the Apple iPhone gave a new life to digital cameras in cell phones. The iPhone camera had superb imaging technology and delivered great photos in every lighting condition. With more research and technology, in 2008, GoPro introduced GoPro HD Hero, a camera that was able to shoot videos at 1080p quality and could be taken along with you on mountain biking, surfing or any other adventurous sport. And now, the latest developments are high-end DSLR cameras that offer superb image quality and video recording at 4K resolution in a compact body. We surely have come a long way from the year 1500, and it's certainly not the end. After all these years of advancement, cameras now have superb power, portability, and are packed with numerous features to allow us to shoot a moment and share it with the world in a matter of seconds.